fans, it's Miss Jenny. I'm so glad to see you today. Thank you very much for watching my video because that tells you a little bit of what we're gonna be doing this week. And first, I wanna get our minds and our bodies ready to listen. So if you have any lotion and you like lotion, why don't you go get your lotion, ask your moms or dads or grandmas if you can have some of their lotion. If you wanna pause it and run and get the lotion, you can do that. Once you have your lotion, just put a little bit on your hands. Not too much because you wanna be able to do your work after and you don't want your hands to be too, too slippery. So I just put a little bit on right there. And then you rub it and you sing the song. I've done it once before, so we're gonna do it again. Rubbing lotion, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Rubbing lotion, one, two, three. Rubbing lotion. And then we're gonna dance our fingers. And one thing you can do is pull each finger. It kind of calms your body down and your mind down. So we're pulling, dancing fingers. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Dancing fingers. One, two, three. Dancing fingers. And my lotion has a little chamomile in it and lavender. And those are two scents that kind of help you calm. Just the smelling of the lotion makes me calm down and get ready to listen. So you can always try that at home. And sometimes if I'm feeling a little um, anxious or sad or a little excited inside, I might use some lotion. You don't have to sing the song, but sometimes just rubbing the lotion would be nice. So next I have my what is it bag and my what is it bag today are things that you have to look for in the book I'm going to read. So I'm not going to show you the book yet. You're going to have to guess from what is it, what is it in my what is it bag. That's hard to say. Okay, ready? What is it? What is it? What is it? Do you know? All right. Oh, this is a character in the story I'm going to read, the character is like the person in the story, the animal in the story, what the story is about. This person is red. Red person? <laughs> it's not a person. It's red though. It's red and it says, ruff, 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 ruff. It's Clifford, the big red dog. Yay! It's Clifford. It's Clifford. It's Clifford, yes it is. So we're gonna read a story about Clifford. Yay, I love Cl Clifford books. Okay, my bag fell. All right, here comes another one. What is it, what is it, what is it do you know? All right, now this, this is in the story and it's pink. It's not a person again. Um, and it says oink 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 yeah you got it it's a pig it's a pig it's a pig yes it is so we have Clifford the big red dog hmm we have a pink pig huh I'm not sure what this story is about let's see if we can find something else in my bag ready what is it what is it what is it do you know? Hmm. Hmm. It's something that some people live in. And it starts with the letter H. <sighs> yeah, I heard you. It's a house. It's a house. It's a house. Yes, it is. So we have Clifford the Big Red Dog. We have a house and we have a pig. Hmm, let's see. I'm not sure what our story's about yet. I'm gonna show you the, the story, the book now. I'll show you the front cover. Remember, that's how we can tell. We look at the front cover and the back cover. So here we go, here's the front cover. I'm not gonna tell you what it says. I know some of you can read it, so shh, don't say it. So we have Clifford. Who's that? That's the little girl, Emily Elizabeth. She's in all of Clifford's stories. 
and we have three pigs. One, two, three. And how many houses do we have? One, two, three. Whew, three pigs, three houses. Hmm. Now let's look at the back of the cover. What do you see on the back of the cover? I see Clifford. What if he's crying or maybe he's sick? And there looks like one of the houses might have broken. And there's Emily, Elizabeth, and a pig. And down here there's a pie. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. We'll open the book now and see if it's got a poster on the back. Nope. It's two different pictures. But I think I know what the story is about by looking at the front. And if you look really close... I see straw, this pig is carrying straw, this pig is carrying sticks, and this pig is carrying bricks. So here, there's our pig. So now I'm gonna read you the title. It says, Clifford's Fairy Tale, The Three Little Pigs and the Big Red Dog. And I have to tell you friends, on our plate plan, there's another Three Little Pigs book, but Clifford's not in that one. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of different Three Little Pigs versions. That means there's different stories that maybe have different endings. So I want you to listen to this one, my Clifford, and then listen to the one on the play plan and see if you can decide what is the same. Like maybe in the story there's two pigs. That would be different. Same would be three pigs. So I want you to find out what's the same in each story and what's different. I wonder if Clifford's in both stories and Emily Elizabeth. So I'll read it to you and then you can go listen to the other one. This says, hello, I'm Emily as Elizabeth and this is Clifford, my big red dog. And every night we cuddle up and my dad reads us a bedtime story. Look at they're cuddling, not on the bed, they're cuddling, cuddling on Clifford. My dad loves making Clifford and me the stars of the story. Tonight we're reading The Three Little Pigs and the Big Bad Wolf. See, he's reading that story. You can see that's the, that's the cover of the book. Once upon a time, Clifford and his friend Emily Elizabeth moved to a new village. They were excited to meet their neighbors, the three little pigs. They even baked a pie for each pig. Clifford sneezed and rattled the whole house. Achoo! Look at, oh, he sneezed so much. Look what happened to that chair and the table. Oh, man. Uh-oh, and the window. Oh. Emily Elizabeth said, Clifford, you're sick. You should stay home and rest. But Clifford wouldn't stay. He wanted to meet his new neighbors. Emily Elizabeth and Clifford arrived at the first little pig's house. He had a house made of straw. By the hair of my chinny chin chin, it's my new neighbor, said the pig. He was the first little pig. And then Clifford felt another sneeze. And he huffed, and he puffed, and he huffed, and he puffed until I chew. Oh no. He blew the straw house down. Clifford and Emily apologized. We're sorry, we're so sorry, we're so sorry. It was an accident. Then they helped the little pig out from underneath all the mess. And the little pig gave Clifford a big blanket to use as a hanky. A hanky is another word for like a Kleenex. 
You should really go home and get some rest, the little pig said to Clifford. But Clifford wouldn't go home. He had to meet his other two neighbors. And he wanted to deliver his pies to his new friends. And then he would come back and fix the little pig's house. So Clifford and Emily Elizabeth and the first little pig walked to the next pig's house. This pig's house was made of sticks. By the hair of my chinny chin chin, it's my new neighbor, said the brother pig. Just then Clifford, uh-oh, what do you think's gonna happen? Just that, just then Clifford felt a sneeze coming and he huffed and he puffed and he achoo! And he blew the house of sticks down too. You should really cover your snout when you sneeze, the second pig grunted. Clifford, your sneezes are getting worse, said Emily Elizabeth. We better go home. But Clifford refused. He wanted to meet his other new neighbor. He hadn't given the pigs all their pies, and now he had two houses to fix. Uh-oh, this one does not look very happy. Clifford really should go home if he's not feeling good. So Clifford, Emily, Elizabeth, and then the two little pigs walked to the next pig's house. His house was made of bricks. By the hair of my chinny chin chin, it's my new neighbors and my brothers too, said the third pig. But just then, uh-oh, felt, Clifford felt a sneeze coming on. He tried to cover his nose, but it was no use. And the sneeze couldn't be stopped. And he huffed, and he puffed, and he huffed, and he puffed. Okay, that one's run that pig's running away. And all of a sudden, achoo! Look at that, it's two pages of a sneeze. And this must be the sneeze, achoo, and then the spit, ew. Uh-oh, what do you think happened to that brick house? This was Clifford's biggest sneeze yet. <gasps> oh my goodness. Look at there's so much air coming out of his mouth that he's blowing the tree. The two pigs. Look at there's a pig in the tree. Yuck. But the brick house, look at it. <gasps> it didn't fall down. Wow, you've got a nasty cold, said the third pig. You better come inside and rest. Oh, that was so kind of him. The third pig made a big pot of soup for Clifford. He also wrapped him in as many blankets as he could find. While Clifford rested, Emily Elizabeth gave each pig their pie. And after a while, Clifford was feeling much better. Oh, look at everybody smiling and happy. I hope he fixes their houses though. Later that day, the third little pig gathered his sprigs and building supplies and he went and helped his brothers fix their houses. Clifford and Emily helped too. Aww. Just as they were almost finished. Oh no. Uh oh, look at that. Clifford started to huff and he started to puff. But look. They're all made out of bricks right now. What do you think is gonna happen? Think, do you think he's gonna blow them down? Started to huff and puff and ah, -roo! Clifford barked happily. He was feeling back to normal. He didn't sneeze and he was happy to help his new friends. And the three little pigs, well, they were happy too. Now they had houses Clifford could never sneeze down. Look at that, all happy, and it says, the end. Which is, that's a clue that the story is over when they say, the end. 
That was a good story. And this happened when they blew down the house of straw. Let's see where it is. Oh, there it is. See? That picture is the same picture on the back. I love that story. Now, you have to be kind of like investigators and see if this book is the same book that is on the play plan. And I want to tell you, these fairy tales, so this says Clifford's fairy tales. Fairy tales are stories that have a lesson to learn in the story. So I looked up the three little pigs and the three little pigs, one of the lessons to learn was that if you take your time and you build something right the first time, it will work and it won't break. So the third little pig made his house a big house that he took a long time to make and used his bricks that were really strong and it wasn't knocked down. So the story and the lesson in this book is to take your time and do a good job the first time and then you won't have to do it again. And that doing a lot of hard work will pay off and you can have a lot of good things in the end of your hard work. Like this pig had a nice brick house and these three pigs had a nice brick house. So this week, we're gonna be building things on your play plan. Like you can build the three pigs houses or you can build things with um, blocks at home or cans at home. We're also going to read some more fairy tales that I'll put out on Seesaw that you can see if you can find the lesson in the story. Sometimes they're hard to find. I even had to say, mm, I had to look it up just to be sure. So I kind of, you know, peaked a little bit. But I want you to look on your play plan and find something that you would like to do that would be fun. Because learning is supposed to be fun and there's a lot of fun things for you to do. So make sure you sh uh, show Miss Jenny and Jenny, take some pictures. Um, maybe do the CESA activities or send us an email with all the wonderful learning you're doing at home. All right, my friends, ready? We wish you well, we wish you well, all throughout the day today. We wish you well. Bye, my friends.